Double Diamond Railroad back for a quickie update. We got the wireless NCE Wireless Pro Cab working. It took us about 45 minutes, maybe an hour, because there were some conflicts with addressing. We had to look up a video from It's My Railroad to figure out what was going on. It's after support hours. So there's the new wireless Pro Cab. The worst thing about this was putting four triple A's in the bottom. Terrible. I even cut myself on my knuckle real bad. The spring clips were so tight I couldn't believe it. Really needed a small flat blade screwdriver to force them in. I finally got it just by force and then held the lid down while I got the screw back in. So that was crazy. Those clips shouldn't be that tight. Here's the old one hooked up to the wire. And I couldn't get this one to work program turn on but it wouldn't do anything so I found his thing and said yeah I knew it was address 202 well it turns out this has an address of 02 so I went in did the trick you put a cable in to the UTP panel boot up go in there and you can while you're holding down uh, let's see we had to hold down select loco button while we plugged in and it brings up so you can change the address change to 03 Take everything down, come back up, boom. It was all working. I can program anything from there. Slight, just a split, maybe, I don't know, 100 millisecond delay on keypad compared to being direct. So I love it. It's going to be great. Now I found out I got to keep this hooked up to get track power, apparently. I'm going to verify that. So I'll probably stick it under the bench. I'll take you down here. Here's a little receiver. I thought it was a big thing, big base, the way it looks in the picture in the box. You pull it out and it's like, oh, 40% the size of the box is in. There's a cable for programming from the wireless to plug into the, to the UTP over here on the right. Right now I've got that long one. I'm going to call and ask him if I can use the short two foot long coil cord. On the right, that's what you always use there. I do have another one, it's like five feet, so I can get this receiver, get it up out of the way back here in the back. Just set it back out of the way. I got plenty of range around here. I know he tested his and went to the other room. So I want to get rid of that gaggle of cables you know, all the way down, because that's what I trip on, that big one going to this handset. You can see. It's broke under here. That's always a problem with them. You step on it, it rips it. So that's a problem. So we're good to go now. Good to go. Got that accomplished. About all we're going to do today. We had a doctor appointment at 2 o'clock for a checkup. Everything came out good, better than I thought. So we went out and got a six-pack of Munchkin donuts from Dunkin' Donut and coffee. And I got too much coffee in. Kind of buzz a little bit right now. Okay, we're going to put you on a tripod and I'll demonstrate so you can hear the time delay between. We'll try actions. to do it in a way you can see what's going on. That's the Amtrak. That's that's very quick. Delay on the bells in the engine. Start him up. I couldn't believe it had all the recalls, all my consists in here, it transferred them somehow from the, from the main head to this somehow. Okay, we don't have some of them in here. Should hear him in the background, that's the SD40-2 in the West Yard. Recall, 5,000. Only thing I can't get to work up here, said 12 a.m. Should be able to change that, go into uh, cab parameters, and it says, ask, do you want to display the current? I say yes, like you do, it ignores it. And it's stuck on the time, so I got a call about that. 
call NCE. I don't like that. I want to see my current draw. Maybe it's unable to show current draw since they're not connected directly to the track. That's a possibility. I bet if I put a coil cable in and connect hardwired, it would show it. We'll find out about that. Let's see who else we got here. Okay, we're missing one. So everything's pretty quick. Basically, my keyboard is a little bit worn out for a year on the other one. Acts about the same speed. You have to push it hard, this one you don't. It says one second, hold a button for one second. It doesn't take that long. Okay, so there you go. And you can see on the top, Right there, it's kind of hard to tell. You get it against it back. You see that little red light? I don't know if it shows up. It's a flickering. It's flickering, talking to the box. Let you know you've got wireless connectivity. The box is going crazy down there. You can see it. So very cool. Very happy to have that. It's going to make it so much easier. I'll hide the... Find out about the hardwired regular cab if I can get rid of that or if it has to stay plugged in if it does i'll put it on a short cord maybe keep it down underneath out of sight unless i need it special but you can program with this one so i don't see what the big deal is hook up the quill cord and stand arm program and not have a cable dang except the little two foot coil cord which is nice keeps the cell cleaned up okay guys thanks a lot that's it going to wrap up for today get up there and upload this time for dinner getting late here take care god bless be safe in the storm double diamond railroad out